Hello friends, now let's solve the KMT slopes problem. There is a garden with n slopes. In each slot, there is a flower. The n flowers will bloom one by one in n days. In each day, there will be exactly one flower blooming, and it will be in the status of blooming since then. Given an array, flowers consist of number from 1 to n. Each number in the array represents the place where the flower will open that day. For example, flowers i equal to x means the unique flower that bloom at the day i will be at position x. Let's see this example. The flower is 1, 3, 2, which means the on the day 0, the flower at place, position 1 opens, and at day 1, the flower at position 3 opens, and at the day, on the day 2, the flower at position 2 opens. Uh, and then, we are given an integer k you need to output in which day there exist two flowers in the status of blooming, and also the number of flowers between them is k, and these flowers are not blooming. So what uh, does this mean? Well, basically our task is to find a window, and this size should be k plus 2, and the two elements in the side which is the i and i plus k plus 1, should uh, open earlier than all the k elements between them. So uh, you can see we'd better have an array that value equal to the days this flower opens. And what about the index? Uh, how to unique, uh, how to indicate, represent the flowers uniquely? That should be the position because one position only have one flowers. So in this case, we can just uh, construct another array, which name the position, and this uh, array means uh, um, position one. The flower at position one opens at day zero, and uh, the flower at the position two opens at day two, and the flower at the position three opens at day one. So basically, this is another version of the flowers. Basically, they are the same. But the size should be n plus 1, as the position start, the start index is 1, not 0. So we just uh, simply plus 1. And we then we just iterate the position array to find a valid window. So it's a um, change to a sliding window problem. Mm, okay, so let's uh, do it. But uh, you should uh, pay attention to that. And uh, finally, we return the second day, not the day one. So ex this example, this is a valid window. And uh, we need to return one, right? But uh, actually, we return second day. So we should uh, get the maximum of these two um, size states and plus one. That's the one point. And another point is that uh, According to the tests, if there are many valid days, we should return the day uh, as small as possible. Okay, let's do it. We first get the n equal to the flowers dot length, uh, and we need a position array, position array, and the size should be n plus one, uh, and we should inner initialize the position array, so we iterate the flower array, now less than n i plus plus. The position should be the, uh, index should be the flower's i, and the, the value will equal to i, which means the flower at the position, flower's i opens at the day i, okay, and we need a result. So we initialize to the integer max value, because if uh, in the end it's still equal to uh, max value, which means we have to find a, a valid window. And then we iterate the position array. Because it's a sliding window problem, so we need the two pointers and the, the one, uh, and the low start from one, because the position uh, start from one, and the high will be equal to the one plus uh, the one plus k plus one, because there should be n positions between the low and the high. So basically, it uh, just equal to 2 plus k. And we iterate it. 
uh, the, uh, I start from one, and the condition is that uh, high less or equal than the n and i plus plus. So if the position i is greater than the starting end, which is greater than the low, uh, and the position i is greater than position high, which means it is still valid. So I just continue. And if not the case, well, one condition is that the i equal to the high, which means we find a valid window. We just update the result, a minimum result. And I, as I said, we should pick the maximum of these two, uh, two sides, which is the position low and uh, position high and we should uh, plus one because it started it start from one um okay and uh, every time we update the low to the i and uh, the high will equal to i plus k plus one we always maintain a size k finally if the result equal to the integer max value we haven't found we return negative one if we find it, we we'll just return this result. Mm. So time complexity should be linear. Thank you for watching. See you next time.